In Birmingham, England, wildlife cameraman Steve Downer is conducting a cutting-edge science experiment. Don't do it, Mr. Slug. You have so much to live for. How are they not getting cut to shreds? This was totally gross. So why aren't these slugs and snails getting cut to pieces? Get ready, folks. It's another clip where the answer is mucus. Slugs and snails secrete this mucus from glands on the underside of their bodies. This mucus is made up of 98% water and 2% carbohydrate and proteins. These are long chain molecules that form bonds to each other that allow them to rotate, break and reform, allowing the mucus to be stable but also flexible. Slugs and snails can even produce different types of mucus according to their needs. There is thick mucus, for example, that covers the entire slug's body or the whole bottom of the snail to keep it from drying out. But their thinner mucus is more important for locomotion or movement. They use it when they want to climb up walls. When it's not under pressure, it's very sticky. But when there's stress applied to it, such as when the animal is wanting to move forward, it becomes much thinner and more pliable and allows them to glide forward. So there's essentially a protective layer between the bottom of the animal and this very sharp blade. No snails or slugs were harmed in the making of this video, but they did get a close shave.